Number four, the price of gas at Leon's gas station is 1.50 per liter. If a customer buys a minimum of 10 liters, a discount of five is applied. This could be modeled by the following function, blah, 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 which gives the total cost when buying a minimum of 10 liters at Leon's gas station. That's why there's this nasty thing here. X has to be greater than or equal to 10 because that is the 10 liters that the people are buying. Cierto? Cool. X is the number of liters of gas that customer buys, of course. Part A. Find the total cost of buying 40 liters of gas at Leon's gas station. All right, pretty easy. So um, if X is number of liters, then what is total cost? Well, total cost is L, because they tell us that L gives the total cost. All right, this one is pretty straightforward. L of 40 equals 1.50 times 40 minus 5. Anytime they say L of X and you plug in a number for X, that's like, that's what it's telling you, see? Cool, so L of 40 is 1.50 times that, which is 1.50 times that, 60 minus five, 55, see? So total cost of buying 40 liters of gas, Alliance's gas station is 55, don't forget the units, dollars, that is part A. Part B, find the inverse function and then apply 70 to it, see? Now, in inverse function, this gets taught in a couple of ways. I'm just going to show how it was taught to me. It's the most intuitive for me. So here we go. This L of X is pretty much the same as putting Y. Dale. So trust me on this. Y equals 1.50 X minus 5. If we are talking about the inverse function, what we have to do is take this guy and this guy and flip it. If we flip it, we end up with x equals 1.50, y minus 5. So what I need to do now is get to something similar to this, in the sense that y is alone. This highlight function really doesn't work on this application. This y has to get alone, ¿cierto? And so you want to reach y equals something. And whatever the, what something is, is going to be your inverse function. Okay, so you flip y and x, end up with something like that, make sure you get y alone, that is going to be your inverse function, that is the game plan. So, that being said, um, I am working from here, ¿cierto? So, getting y alone, I add 5 to the other side, x plus 5 equals 1.50y. I'd rather have y on my left side because it looks nice, so I'm just going to flip it, I haven't done any math stuff yet. Now we divide by 1.50 to both sides. Y equals duh, 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 X plus five divided by 1.50. This is my inverse function, see? So if you wanna be like mega mathy about it, you would pretty much write it like that, ¿cierto? Now I'm not done yet because the question is asking for plugging 70 to this, ¿cierto? So I'm gonna go ahead, plug in 70 to that. We end up with 70 plus 5 divided by 1.50. Um, da, da, da. This gives me 75 divided by 1.50. See? This is going to be 50. I did this a while ago. Let me just double check. Yeah, baby, that's 50. All right, so that's part B. See? That is part B. All right. Now they tell us the price of gas at Erica's gas station, which is a different gas station, is $1.30 uh, per liter. A, com a customer must buy a minimum of 10 liters per of gas, again, just like the other dude. And the total cost at Erica's gas station is cheaper than Leonard's gas station when X is greater than K. And to find the minimum value of K. So let's take a moment and think about this for a second. ¿cierto? If a customer shows up and buys 10 liters of gas, it will be cheaper at Leonces. It is cheaper at Leonces because this guy has a discount. He's got that minus five. On the other hand, Erica's gas station does not. ¿cierto? And so where is Erica's gas station more convenient than this other dude? ¿cierto? That is kind of like kind of like what's going on. See? And so the way that you set it up is Like this, ¿cierto? Erica's gas station 
charges 1.30 per liter, ¿cierto? But it has no discount. So it's like, you can put a plus zero here or whatever, it has no discount. So you cannot have like a Y equals 1.30X. What did we have for Leonces? For Leonces, we had that Y was 1.50X minus five, ¿cierto? Aha, uh -huh. now it looks like something that we can work with, ¿cierto? I need to kind of like equal them each other or make some sort of inequality to see what goes on, ¿cierto? So the minimum value of K is wherever I mean, given the concept of the problem, the minimum value of k will be set up like this. We will have 1.30x, which is Erica's, is less than 1.50x minus 5. And so just to leave mega clear why we're putting it like this, remember that this is like a cost function, ¿cierto? And so wherever this 1.50x uh, minus 5 is greater than 1.30x, that means that... Leon's gas station is more expensive, ¿cierto? And so we need to find where it's more convenient to go to Erica's, ¿cierto? And that's why we're talking about the minimum value of K. That's why we set it up like that. We need to find X here, ¿sí? So in order to get X alone, we're going to do plus 5 to both sides. I just like starting with that. Then we do minus 1.30X to both sides. We end up with 5 being less than 0.20x. x has to be... Ba -ba -bum. This gives us... 25. See? Also, here I skipped a step. I hope no one freaked out here. I did a 5 divided by 0.20. And I made sure that my x was always like facing the symbol. ¿cierto? My symbol was always facing x. I did the same here. I just, I'd rather have X on the left side. See, that's all I'm doing. That, that, that is a step that I missed. Sorry about that. X has to be greater than 25. And this also sort of implies that the minimum value of K is 25, ¿cierto? Because it is at this cutting, this is like the cutting point, see? Of my decision in respects to this here. 